Gawker files for bankruptcy, Line will IPO soon, Andreessen Horowitz closes a huge funding round, and more. It's Friday, June 10th, and this is Crunch Report. Happy Friday, everybody! I think everyone saw this coming. Gawker Media filed for bankruptcy today. The filing comes as Gawker's legal battle with the wrestler Hulk Hogan drags on. Hogan sued Gawker after the site published a clip of his sex tape and a blog post analyzing it. A jury awarded Hogan $115 million in March, which messed up the media company big time. Gawker's bankruptcy filing says that the company's assets are worth $50 to $100 million and that it faces liabilities of $100 to $500 million. Gawker Media owns the publishing platform Kinja and runs Gawker, Jezebel, Deadspin, and other sites, which will all be auctioned off. I imagine Peter Thiel having an evil Joker-esque laugh in his secret lair at the moment. Ha 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 ha! Japan's Line Corporation, the company behind the popular messaging app Line, today announced that it has filed to go public on the New York Stock Exchange in the U.S. on July 14th and the Tokyo Stock Exchange on July 15th, trading as LN. Line hopes to raise $1 billion in the IPO, offering 35 million shares with an over allotment of 5.25 million shares and 13 million of that in Japan. Pricing will be set June 27th, with final price revealed July 11. The offering values the company at $5.5 billion. Line now has 218 million monthly active users globally, with 152 million in its top four countries in Asia. It will be aiming to use the huge fundraise to take on growth in new markets. Pokemon Go is not like any Pokemon game you've ever seen before. Its roots may be traced back to the epic April Fool's Day prank that the Google Maps team pulled in 2014 when they released a trailer for a fake augmented reality game that showed players in search of Pokemon visible only through the lens of their smartphone. That was then, and Pokemon Go is now, and our own Greg Kamparik recently played the game with the development team from Niantic, and he thinks it's pretty awesome. Pokemon Go gets players out and about in the real world and search for the elusive Pokemon characters they've come to know and love. I, for one, cannot wait to play the game. I gotta catch him all! That means you, Charmeleon. Ooh, I can't wait to get my hands on you. You ready for some sweet money talk? Money talk! This morning, Andreessen Horowitz is confirming that it has closed on a $1.5 billion for its fifth fund, having secured the capital commitments from its previous investors. The announcement comes a little more than two years after the firm closed its fourth multi-stage venture capital fund with $1.5 billion. That's all the money talk for today. Having a phone, there are two things I'm bad at. Backing up my phone and breaking every screen ever. I break everything. The screen breaking, whatever, I'm not perfect. But I try to be careful and redundant about my data and I automatically back up to multiple clouds until I don't or something gets reset. That's why I found this cable kind of cool. It's the meme charging cable and it has memory storage built into the cable that backs up your phone when you put it on a charge. After a successful Kickstarter campaign, also a Crowdcube campaign to raise 710,000 pounds in crowd equity, memes cable started shipping earlier this week. I remember to charge my phone so I can't mess this up. Just thought this was a cool little piece of tech. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. Have a delightful weekend.